Dobar den, počitovani gledači. Ja sledite emisijata Makedonsko izdanije, koje što posle 20 godišnje emitovanje na Kablovskata televizija vo Ontario prodošuva isključivo da se emituva na naši od website www.macedonianedition.tv Deneska je 13. oktober 2018. godina i po izvesna pauza proložujeme povtrno da ve informirame za považnite informacije od Makedonskata komuna v Toronto. Kako što site veke znajete, na 30. september godinova građanite na Makedonija odbija da glasat na referendumot za promjena na imeto na našeta država. Makedonskite organizaciji od diasporata so zadovoljstvo go prifatija neuspešnijot rezultat od referendumot, koji, kako što istaknuva golem broj na stručnjaci, bi bil poguben za ponatomošnoto obstojuvanje na makedonskata nacija i istorija i država. Ja sum Poveda Piskačeva, producentot i voditelot na ova vaša programa i sakam da vi se zablagodaram što vo narednete 30 na minuti odlučivte povtrno da videte zajedno so nas. Kanadskoto makedonsko mesto vo Toronto na svojte stanari im nudi ugodno življalište, harmoničan život i odlična usluga. Pobarajte gdje na 416-755-9231. Obogodišnji od 13. pored Makedonski filmski festival vo Toronto, ki se održi slednji od vikend vo Carlton Cinema. Vek je četiri godini pored, so cel da se pomogne festivalot, se održuva i Rocking Party vo Jak klubot na Ashbridges Bay na Ezeroto, Ontario. Naša ta kamera beše prisutna na ova zabava, koja što se održa na 16. juni godinava i vo narednite minuti Vi prenesuvame što zabeleža. It's a pleasure again to speak to uh, Elizabeth Naumovsky and uh, we're here at the uh, Ashbridge's Bay Yacht Club. Thank you. So uh, what is uh, happening today? Okay, so today we're doing a rockin' party. We call it the rockin' party. We have a live band uh, that'll be playing all classic rock music. And then we have a DJ coming in playing some music when the band has their break. And then we're going to throw in some Macedonian Oros as well. And this is a fundraiser that we've put together for the Macedonian Film Festival. And this is the fourth annual um, gathering. Yes, yes, it's the fourth annual. So um, we are gathering this money because we need them for our film festival. Yeah, so we thought uh, this is a good fundraiser, a good way for us to raise funds for the Macedonian Film Festival, and that helps us in either bringing in a, uh, a director, producer, an actress, it helps us to pay for the films that we show, it helps us to secure the Carlton Cinema as well, so it helps us uh, pay everything so that we can have a really successful film festival for everyone. Uh, this year the Macedonian Film Festival um, will be happening when? It's October the 20th and the 21st and we are also thinking of putting together a uh, an evening on the 19th where people can come and watch um, one of the feature films that we're thinking of having and then join our party. Just come on out and for those of you that don't speak Macedonian we have a lot of people that come in that uh, don't speak the language but can read subtitles so it'd be great to have you all come out. Thank you. Uh, 
Uh, it's a pleasure to talk to uh, Lovisa again about uh, the Mastering and Film Festival. Uh, we are having this um, rocking party here tonight. Uh, tell us um, um, how are the preparations going for the film festival this year that will happen in October this year? Actually, the uh, preparations are going great. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of uh, films on uh, on the roster right now, and uh, more to come. We're going to be updating our website, so we'll be able to provide you with some more details. But it's going to be a fun and fantastic film festival for sure. Uh, tell us uh, a little bit more, uh, why is it important that younger people as well come in and visit this uh, Macedonian Film Festival, not only Macedonians, but the friends of Macedonians as well? Oh, absolutely. I think it's a, a great opportunity for anyone to come and see a foreign film. There are uh, so many people that bring friends, Macedonian friends, uh, some non-Macedonian friends who are able to come to our film festival and have really enjoyed themselves. So uh, there's subtitles, so we don't have to worry about those uh, individuals that don't understand Macedonia. It could be of Macedonian descent and still not understand Macedonia. So the subtitles are definitely there. Um, there's always a theme of uh, some sort of a Macedonian content, which is fantastic for us to be proud of and be able to participate in um, in our culture. And it's important for our children to understand where they came from, where the Babandilo came from, and how, um, how they can be proud of uh, the Macedonians. At the rocking party here at the beaches, uh, uh, we are talking to uh, Metokolovsky, the uh, president of uh, United Masian Diaspora. Um, first of all, thank you again for coming. Of course, my pleasure. Thank you. Why is this important? I mean, for you to be here. Well, uh, one, it's a, it's a very different type of event amongst the Macedonian community. Uh, I really enjoy the fact that classic rock uh, is meshed with uh, pop music as well as with some Macedonian aura dancing uh, at the Ashbridge's uh, Bay Yacht Club. And it also benefits a fantastic cause, which is the Macedonian Film Festival. Uh, it's, uh, they're holding their 13th annual this October, um, and uh, it's the only film festival outside of Macedonia, uh, promoting over a century-year-old uh, history of Macedonian filmmaking. So we're really pleased. Um, also, uh, you being here in Toronto, you will uh, have, uh, you will visit the uh, St. Clement Church uh, and you will have um, some speech uh, in regards of the current situation in Macedonia. So what is that that, you know, the viewers that would not be able to come and to hear, to listen to, to your speech, uh, would uh, you like them to know? Sure. Um, how much time do you have? <laughs> uh, like uh, five minutes. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> well, um, tomorrow is actually, so I'm going to give a, a presentation on Macedonia and its future uh, and how to ways to get uh, involved. Uh, we're also um, going to have our young leaders, Kristina Dimitrievsky, Luka Petrushevsky and Emi Dimitrievsky talk about our Canadian Macedonian Leadership Conference mm -hmm. that's happening in Ottawa for the first time on September 27th to 29th and we're going to bring uh, people of all ages but particularly focused on young leaders in the Macedonian uh, community in Canada and give them the necessary tools and skills and resources uh, to advocate for Macedonia. Now in terms of my presentation uh, I think one thing that the audience should be aware of is the latest uh, name deal uh, between Macedonia and Greece which apparently is going to be signed uh, tomorrow. It's unfortunate that the Macedonian government has agreed to the Erga Omnis uh, option, which is all or nothing. Uh, that is the Greek perspective. 
Uh, the Macedonian constitution has to be unfortunately uh, changed um, and what this agreement does is it, uh, Macedonia is beholden on Greece and Greece's parliament. Uh, some things that the audience should uh, want to know is, you know, Republic of North Macedonia, great, it may be the name, it may replace Phyrum, all that stuff. But people don't understand that. Uh, this essentially changes the very fabric of Macedonian society. Uh, also, Macedonia's parliament has to pass it in, uh, it has to ratify the agreement. Then Macedonia has to hold a referendum. Knowing the past history of electoral fraud in Macedonia, you're not sure that that referendum is going to be successful or not. If it's not successful, then the prime minister would have to call early elections. There's no guarantee that he would win in a future election. Uh, Macedonia has to pass constitutional amendments, including its preamble, which you would have to remove the Khrushchev Republic, the Asnom, the 1944, um, and all that, and, and essentially change Macedonia's, uh, you know, name and everything, right? And so set up a historical com commission, two-thirds vote uh, in parliament to pass this uh, legislation on constitutional amendments, and then... 18 to 24 months later, perhaps Greece will ratify it in its parliament. Alexis Tsipras today won, uh, uh, he got a, a no, there was a no confidence vote. Um, he won, obviously, and so he's not going to face early elections, but he lost uh, a member of parliament or two. You don't know if he's going to continue winning in Greece politics. And then Nea Demokratia, the opposition leader, is the son of Mitsotakis, who once wanted to divide Macedonia with Milosevic, right? So um, there's no guarantees. If Greece really wanted to, they would have ratified this agreement tomorrow and said, sure, we're going to ratify the same thing. We're going to hold our leaders accountable long term. And we've already had the experience. 95, Macedonia signed that agreement. Greece, Macedonia's parliament ratified it. Greece didn't. And then we got screwed, unfortunately, at NATO. And so now a Macedonian society needs to decide what is their future. Where do they want to see the country? Quite frankly, EU is very far away. NATO doesn't look like it's happening. Um, and Macedonia really needs to focus on economic development because the day Macedonia joins EU, all these young people are going to want to leave no matter what. They're leaving now, they're going to want to leave even more then, right? And so you have to create jobs. You have to make sure that that country is stable economically. And with a 0.1% economic growth, I don't, I don't see how it's economically stable. And so that's the priority of the government, not the name issue. And um, is the government listening to the diaspora and other people from the diaspora uh, who really, uh, you know, have a little bit more experience in lobbying uh, in Washington? And, you know, um, what is your experience? I have to say um, that I expected a lot more contact, um, uh, but it seems like the government is set on their ways um, in developing these treaties with Bulgaria, with Greece, obviously with Albania, the whole, uh, you know, they're going to have a very soon with Kosovo as well. And so, look, I, un I understand that Macedonia has to resolve its issues with its neighbors. And at the end of the day, they're neighbors, and it would be great if they don't have any issues. But the Macedonian identity is not recognized through these treaties. The Macedonian minorities in all these countries are not protected. The majority of the diaspora are people that come from Aegean Macedonia, right? And so if you don't have very good collaboration with them and if you're not taking advantage of their potential, their knowledge, their experience, you're failing, right? We're failing as a society, we're failing as a community, and it's unfortunate. Um, actually, it's more than unfortunate. It's very concerning. I wish I could use harsher words, but you know me, I'm not that type of person. But uh, we're really upset um, because all this hard work over this 25, 27 year period of getting 137 countries to recognize us now kind of goes to waste. Why did we work so hard? So we'll see what the future holds. I hope that the people in Macedonia uh, really decide 
that this is not the path that they need to be going. Their leaders need to be accountable. Um, and uh, crime and corruption and rule of law, all of that need to be tackled as soon as possible. Metho, thank you very much. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you, Pobeda, and uh, best of luck to you. Thank you always for being supporter of UMD and the Macedonian Film Festival. Thank you. Ovogodišnjih golf turnir Macedonian Open, što go organizira kanadsko to makedonsko mesto, beše održan na 10. juli godinava v Station Creek Golf Club, što se nalgja severno od Toronto. V proloženje počitovani gledači prosledajte go materijalot, što go snimihme od ovoj nastan, vključujeki go i intervjuto so novi od predsedatel na kanadsko to makedonsko mesto, George Markov. We have a pleasure to speak to Mr. George Marco, who is a president of Canadian Macedon. Please, congratulations for this role. Thank you so very much. Tell us about the event uh, that uh, Macedon, Canadian Macedon Place is organizing for so many years, the golf tournament. Yes, it's our uh, 76th uh, uh, annual golf, golf tournament. Uh, it's the, uh, the largest uh, uh, fundraiser that we have for uh, the Canadian Macedonian place. Uh, today was just a great day. Uh, the weather couldn't have been any better. Uh, we had a turnout of uh, approximately 260 uh, golfers today, both uh, young and older. Uh, great friendship, great camaraderie, some great golf, and uh, we're just about to go in for, uh, for some dinner right now. Um, uh, once again, uh, it, it, it's uh, it's an event that's uh, been taking place for many many years, and we're uh, we're hoping to continue this for many years into the future. Uh, many of uh, the golfers here are second and third generation of Macedonians. How do we bring the Macedonian culture, you know, to to all of them and, and the younger generation by organizing uh, events like this? Well, I mean that's a great question, a great point for uh, for uh, all of Macedonians within our community. Um, one thing I, I should mention is that uh, Canadian Macedonian Place is a, uh, a bit of a pillar and a foundation, uh, not only for the residents of uh, the Canadian Macedonian Place, however, uh, we are an organization through the Canadian Macedonian Place Foundation that support uh, uh, other venues, for example, the Canadian Macedonian Historical Society, the, uh, the language program at the University of Toronto, uh, the United Macedonian Diaspora and, and our local churches, for example. So through the sponsorship and support that Canadian Macedonian Place does uh, uh, for uh, other organizations, uh, it, it brings the community together. Um, this uh, golf tournament that we put on, uh, uh, aside from it being a, a fundraiser and a large fundraiser for uh, Canadian Macedonian Place, it's, uh, it's also a venue that we put on to bring the, our people together. So we encourage so strongly to have uh, the, the youth come out and uh, each and every year we're, we're seeing uh, more and more of the younger people coming out which is a pleasure to see. Mr. Marco, thank you very much and uh, have a great time now during the Macedonian music that I noticed they are present here. Thank you so very much, thank you for having me on the year and uh, uh, thank you for all your help and support as well. Thank you.
kanadskoto makedonsko mesto vo Toronto na svojte stanari im nudi ugodno življalište, harmoničan život i odlična usluga. Pobarajte gdje na 416-755-9231. I vo današnjava emisija imamo nekoliko informaciji za profesionalno i povoljno dizajniranje na web sajtovi. Pobarajte gdje TJ Hosting na 647-547-3061. Čitajte makedonski vesti i so detaljne informacije i važni natpisi za makedonska komuna vo Toronto. Za svi te vrste na životno osigurovanje, osigurovanje za kritične bolesti, osigurovanje na vaši od kredit za kutja, invalidsko i zdravstveno osigurovanje i osigurovanje koga patuvate, javajte se na 647 977 0233. ki vi pomog nam da ga odberete najdobro to i najpovolno to osigurovanje za vas. Zagrižljiva nega na vaša takosa i nezino profesionalno stiliranje pobarajte Elizabeta na 647 281 5501. Kako što najavitme na početak od naja emisijata, Makedonski filmski festival vo Toronto će se održi po 13. pat na 20. i 21. oktobri godinava vo Carlton Cinema. Festival od kibida otvoren so film od Secret Ingredient, film od Mocking of Christ na režiser od Jani Bojađi, koja dobi godinaštava nagrada za inovacija pri internacionalni od filmski festival vo Montreal, kibida isto taka na repertoar. Iako vladata na Republika Makedonija go zabrani prikažovanje se na filmot, isti od beše premjerno prikaža na 5. oktomvri godinava vo kinoto milenijum, vo Skopje, kako i vo nekoliko privatni kinosali vo drugi gradovi vo Makedonija. Vo proloženje prosledete trailer od filmot Mocking of Christ. Znaješ li da ka Isus je sin na Aleksandr? Koji Aleksandr? Aleksandr Makedonski.
Годишният Македонски филмски фестивал ке биде затворен со проекцијата на филмот Eyewitness на режисерот Митко Панов, кој специјално за оваа прилика ке допатува од Македонија. За повеќе информации и програмата на филмовите кои што ке бидат прикажани одете на www.macedonianfilmfestival.com Ете, почитувани гледачи, тоа е се што подготвивме за ова 409-та емисија на Македонско издание. До нашето следно видување ви благодарам за вашето ценото внимание. Пријетно и до видување!